in the previous video we saw uh, that uh, given this data uh, we had this tree here and what we have here is that uh, we picked this CS118 this course um, this feature as the root node and what we see here is that <clears throat> Um, uh, this tree actually generates set of rules uh, to predict the grade of this course CS201. So what are the rules? Let's see that. Um, if I take, for example, this first branch here. So it means that given a new test case, I'll see that if the grade in CS118 is equal to excellent then the grade in cs201 is also excellent so that's the first prediction and that's the first rule that we'll check this grade of cs118 and we'll predict the grade of cs201 accordingly but if this rule is not met then what we'll check is that if Then we'll go into this branch specific and we'll see that if uh, the grade of CS118 is equal to uh, good, then the grade in CS217 will be checked. So we'll write again an if. If CS217 is equal equal to excellent then cs201 is equal to good and for this if we'll say else if cs217 is equal equal to below average then cs 201 is equal to F. So this is very clear rule that a student has scored a good grade in the first course, uh, but he has not scored very well in the second course that is below average. Then the third course definitely would be even lower than the previous grade. So if uh, the student gets B in the CS217, then he might get a bad grade, uh, an F grade in the later course. However, if the student scores a good grade in the first course, but scores a, an excellent grade in the second course, then he's actually improving, right? So he might get a good or better grade, but uh, for this prediction here, we have only good because our data said so, right? So these are, this, uh, this uh, blue one, this was the first rule that we actually got from this tree. Then this is the second rule. So I, let's call it, say, rule number 2A. So this is rule number 2A. And then this is the second rule is actually rule number 2B. So what we have here is that we have generated three rules from this decision tree. And then the last part here, will say that for this branch we have another rule that if the grade in CS118 it is equal to average then this is the first course and the student is not performing very well uh, we can expect that his grade in the later course might not be very good. So then CS201 is equal to F grade. So uh, you can see that this is not very clear rule, but our data says that this should be the rule here. So our decision tree has, dict has dictated us this specific rule. Uh, however, uh, we have only five different values. So this, this specific scenario that is not very likely is due to the amount of data that we have uh, on which data we trained our tree. So that's uh, the output of a decision tree that we have a set of rules that we can follow 
this is Ramati. So we can follow these rules to predict the um, output of our uh, new test case. Right. So this that's it for the uh, decision tree. And in the next video, we'll discuss the the, uh, the forest that we can generate from this tree, and we'll uh, discuss how it can improve the uh, accuracy or performance of our uh, of our um, prediction.